to the clouds. <laughs> Nothing silly. It's just that we'll grow up and have to get jobs. I knew that. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. Hey, that one looks like a pudding cup. Maybe I could be a professional pudding taster. Well, I like watching clouds. I think I'll get a job doing that. Is club watching a job? Uh, hmm. Yep. Look, it's Mayor Papazzoni. He's always watching clouds. Hi, Mr. Oh! Mayor! <laughs> Hello, Pecola. Mr. Mayor, how did you decide what you wanted to be when you grew up? Well, it all began when I discovered my gift for public speaking. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I should really show you children some of my old campaign pictures to make this even more interesting. Huh? Where are we? Let's all meet at the town hall this afternoon. We could invite all of the voters. Huh. I mean citizens as well. I'm sure they'd be thrilled to hear my life story. Okay, Mayor Papazoni. Will they be talking about their jobs too? <laughs> their jobs? Well, after my speech, of course. We'll call it career day. Will you please tell everyone, Pecola? I would, but I have a long speech to prepare. You sure did a great job of getting all the adults here, Pecola. It was easy. Everyone said they'd be happy to come. Plus, I told them there'd be free pudding. Mm. Thanks for coming, Officer Kumara. We know how busy you are. Uh. No problem. <laughs> Nothing's more important to this community than you kids. <laughs> hmm? uh Why don't we start off with an exciting career that I know everyone wants to hear about? Fire! Huh? Thank you for such a nice introduction, Mayor Papazoni. Yes, when you talk about exciting jobs, we're at the top of the list. Now, if you'll just move away from the screen, we'll start the show. Here's us rescuing Rory when he got stuck on a branch. Very dangerous. He was way up there, all right. And here we are pulling the mayor's trunk out of a jar of peanut butter. And it was chunky, which made it a very tricky operation. Look at that. This is us digging Mr. Sariyama out from under a pile of melons. Uh oh. Luckily, all the melons that Mr. Sariyama was saved that day. Gee, you sure have gotten people out of some tight spots. Our motto is if you're stuck, you're in luck. Does anyone have any questions? Do you have any pictures of you and Bashir fighting a fire? Uh, 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 no. Why not? Because we've never actually fought a fire. There's never been a fire in Cube Town uh, ever. Thank you. <clears throat> now, regarding a career in public service. Uh, Thank you, Mayor. I'm honored to be here today. <laughs> As police chief, it's my job to make sure that all the street signs in town are shiny and clean. I'm also in charge of all the traffic lights, all three colors. And uh, if there's a parking ticket to be written, well, my pencil is always sharp. <laughs> you must be an expert in shapes to memorize all those signs. I know my hexagons from my triangles, all right. <laughs> what was the biggest crime? 
crime you ever solved. Mm. Was it a big robbery? Uh, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> uh, did I mention the parking ticket? Uh, I did. Yeah, well, uh, the truth is that I, uh, that I've never solved a crime because there's never been a crime committed in Kingtown. Ever. Well, as Thank you, Mayor Papazoni. <sighs> Here is a shot of my observatory. That's me waving. Here are some photos of my studies of the Cubus Maximus galaxy. Wow! Have you ever discovered a planet? Well, uh, no. A comet? No, uh, but... <sighs> I suppose I haven't discovered much if I stop to think about it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was trying to fix the whistle on my train, the cactus. She's a beauty, isn't she? She sure is. How fast can a cactus go? Oh, she's capable of 100 kilometers an hour. Really? How many kilometers per hour have you had the cactus going? Well, that's hard to say. Because it's never run for a whole kilometer before. Thanks for having me. So, who's next? Hey! Do all the adults seem kind of... down to you? I guess they're all just tired from working so hard. I knew that. I think. As, <clears throat> as I was saying... Huh? <sighs> And flippers! What a swell morning! Hey, let's drop in at the fire station. Yeah, Bastion and Jabbit always let us try the siren on the fire engine. I knew that. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> I won. Fat no, chance. I did. Hey, Bastion, who was here first? Sorry, kids. No time to talk. Gotta get out and look for any uh. signs of a fire. Smoke. Matches, any dry wood just lying around, anything could be trouble. We must be vigilant. We aren't going to be better firefighters by sitting around talking. Goodbye, kid. Gotta go. What you looking at, <coughs> Officer Kumada? Who? <laughs> I'm on the lookout for any crimes being committed around Cube Town. Can we come with you on your rounds like we always do? Not today. I'll need all my powers of concentration. No, I'm not much of a policeman if I can't solve any crimes, am I? <laughs> hey, Steamer, want to kick the ball around? Sorry, can't play. I'm trying to get the train running. But you always play soccer with us when we come over. I've got to get this train on the road. Um, rails. I'm not much of an engineer if I don't have a train that runs, right? Well, you're our favorite engineer. Thanks. But it's not enough anymore. I've got to be better than that. Uh, uh, how can you be better than someone's favorite? I don't know that. Can we have a look, Professor? Sorry, your young, untrained eyes might miss something. A comet, a new planet, something. But how will our eyes get trained if you don't show us what to look for? I'm not sure that I am the best person to be teaching you anymore. So I'm afraid that the observatory will be closed to visitors until further notice. Oh well, it's not much fun here now, even if it is open. Pickler's right. If no one's having fun, how can I be doing a good job? None of the adults want to talk, play, or even hang out with us anymore. Mm. Ever since we had that career day, everything seems different. But why? All we did was ask them stuff about the really cool jobs. Oh, no. Uh -oh. This is all my fault. It was sort of my idea to have that dumb career day. And now everyone's mad at me. We're not mm -hmm. mad at you, Pecola. We're not mad at any of you. No, on the contrary. We've come to apologize to you. Apologize to us? For what? For being too busy for you. We thought you were disappointed in us, that we weren't very good at our jobs. So we tried to get better. But we got so focused on that, we got worse at being your friends. We're awful sorry. 
Don't be sorry. You're the best. You're the best. Now don't be sorry. Yeah. You're the best, I think. Wait a minute. Why would you think that you aren't great at your jobs? Well, I've never caught a criminal. But that's because you're such a good policeman. No one would dare commit a crime with you around. Really? Well, <laughs> uh, thank you. And you haven't fought a fire because you've never even let one get started. Ouch! Oh, oh, by golly, you're... Absolutely right! And I know I can't let people ride my train until it's perfectly safe. I'll keep working on it till it's ready. And sharing my knowledge of the stars is my real job. Not becoming famous for a discovery. <laughs> so, how did all of you decide what you wanted to be when you grew up? Well, I guess we each picked a career in which we could help our community. Flappin' flippers! When I grow up, I'm gonna be a penguin that helps his community. Just like you guys. Well, thank you, Piccola. I think I can speak for everyone when I say that that makes us all feel successful. Hey, I've got a great idea. Follow me! This was a great idea, Pecola. I should study the skies this way more often. How nice to find all of you here. <clears throat> How I became mayor is a fascinating story. It all began hey, many years that ago. That one looks like us. Citizens are in danger. A cry for help sounds like a job for Power Chum. Look, Chewie, Power Chum is gonna save the day. Mm, no. Look, Chewie, Power Chum is bending a light pole to make a bridge. Hmm. The mass of the pole plus its density. All oh, right. Look at him go. His jetpack makes him fly like a rocket. Tune in next week for more Power Chum action adventures. Until then, remember to be super citizens. Flapping flippers. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable is right. Most of Power Chum's deeds are highly unscientific. Wouldn't it be great to be just like Power Chum? I think Cube Town needs a superhero. But, Pecola, it's just a TV show. It takes more than just saying you're a hero to actually be a hero. I know that. It also takes a cool costume. I'll catch up with you later. I've got things to do. Big things. Oh, boy. Never fear. Our Pecola is here. And now for my trusty power pack. Well, power Pogo, anyway. Time to find some citizens in need of rescue. Power Pecola, away! Whoa, whoa, ah! That should do it. Whoa, 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 that doesn't sound right. It, it's not supposed to sprawling. Greetings, Ooh. citizen. Oh, Pecola, you, you startled me. Sorry, citizen, but it's Power Pecola. Penguin of the people! Oh, uh, I see. And, and what can I uh, do for you, hmm? Power Ecola? I'm looking for Chewy, so I can show my cool new costume. Sorry, but little Chew isn't here. Oh. Perhaps you have need of my super talents. Oh, you, you could help me fix my invention. I, I call it the Trash Blaster, hmm? It crushes a huge amount of garbage into a small cube. Oh, but it needs a, a special part called a double flip nut screw to work. Without it, it, it keeps seizing up. I found one in Cubic City, but it was the last one they had. That's great. Citizen? But... Uh, not exactly. You see, on the way home from Cubic City, I was executing a barrel roll in the Mad Mouse. <laughs> and the screw must have fallen out of my pocket. Unless I find that screw, the, the trash blaster is useless. So, you want me to use my super strength to crush all your trash into a tiny cube? Actually, I was hoping you could look for my missing screw. Heroes don't look for missing screws. Anybody can do that. Huh? Sorry, citizen, but there are people more in need of my super talents. 
Power Pekula away! 999,999? One million. Ready or not, here I come. Where could he... Hello! You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. What were you looking for? Well, I was trying to find Rudy. Rudy's missing? That's great! I mean, that's terrible. Don't worry. Power Pekula is here. But I'll have Rudy back here safe and sound in no time. Power Pekula, away! But, but we were only playing a game of hide and seek. <laughs> He'll never think to look here. Aha! Found you. What? How? My Power Pekula vision saves the day. No fair, that's cheating. Another super deed by Power Pekula. Huh? What's the point in being a hero if there isn't a big crowd of people to cheer for you? Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of people at the art festival downtown. A crowd? Thanks for the tip, citizen. No, thank you. <clears throat> Yoo-hoo! It's time to judge your entries in the art festival. And, like, I'm the judge, okay? You made, like, your statue out of, like, tin cans? <laughs> yes! Out of 1,000 empty rutabaga and chili cans. <laughs> it took me days to stack them. I hope he didn't eat them all himself. Gross. Like, if you're not finished your painting, I could come back later. It is finished. I call it freshly washed sheet. It's a mural. <laughs> well, it's, like, very bright. Now to find a citizen in need of Power Pekula's help. The judge will be really impressed if my melon sculpture is higher. I just... Can't reach! Can't reach! Can't reach! Aha! Finally, a call for big superhero help! Never <laughs> fear! <laughs> Our Pekula is here! <laughs> Greetings, citizen! <clears throat> I'll bounce that melon to the top for you! Okay, but be careful! Super bounce! Now! <laughs> Thanks, Pecola. Our Pecola saves the day! Oh. Whoa. I just need a minute to think of a super plan to fix this. Power Pekula, away! <laughs> All that hard work, and now the festival is ruined! <laughs> hmm. I need somewhere quiet for some super thoughts. Aha! Power Pekula to the top! Away! Phew! That was tougher than I thought. I could think up a super plan here on my power perch. Hmm. This isn't working. Better head home for some power pudding. Whoa! It, it's a long way down. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Um, help? Power Pekla is stuck. Don't worry, Pekla! We're on our way! <sighs> What's that? Flap and flippers! This must be Dr. Chu's missing screw! Going down? <laughs> Thanks, Bashit. How did you find me, anyway? 
Professor Hornbender spotted you. Through his telescope. He always uses it to look out for cube townians in trouble. He does? Now that sounds like a hero. And he doesn't have a costume or anything. Don't you two get scared of being up so high? Not when you have the proper training. And Ow! years of experience. I guess it takes time to learn how to be heroes like you. Heroes? Us? <laughs> We're just... Doing our job. I guess real heroes don't brag. I think there's another hero in town that could use some help. And that should do it. <laughs> It works! <laughs> All thanks to you. <laughs> you found the screw, Pecola. I was just lucky. I should have helped you look for it right from the start. Hey, Pecola, how's the hero biz? Ah, uh, this town is full of heroes already. I just wasn't paying attention. Hey, want to go down to the art festival? Um, it's been cancelled. Some sort of pogo stick problem? Oh, right. I sure made a big mess down there, didn't I? Dr. Chu, is the trash blaster ready for a test run? Mm, I, I think so. <laughs> what did you have in mind, Ecola? Well, that's the last of it. Amazing! To think that all of my beautiful cans fit in there. And my melons! And my sheets. Oh, I suppose we'll never know who would have won first prize now. I'm sorry, everyone. It was all my fault. Like, hang on just, like, a second. Hmm. Very, like, intense. Colorful. Different textures. Clean lines. All your art combined wins the awesome first prize. Congratulations. So no more power Pecola, right? No way. It takes more than a mask to be a hero. And besides, it's more important just to be yourself. I'm just glad no one's mad at me anymore. Uh, Pecola? You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Power Pecola? Well, almost no one. 